Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm gonna get things cleaned up while things print upstairs. So we'll be back in just a second and we'll start banking stuff. We have got a whole bunch of plans to mark out. Hopefully you guys enjoy the series and building stuff. We are going to mark out everything and cut it all out. So we should have a full complete left console at least the frame by the end of this. So, here it goes. For this first part, I'm marking out the left inside part of the console. That's the left console inside, all marked out. We gotta cut it out. All right, on this one, I'm gonna make two cuts, well, three cuts. One of them across with the circular saw, one of them up with the circular saw, then I'm going to actually use the jigsaw to cut out this little corner. That way I can preserve this material and this material a little bit better. Either that or I might just go straight across because, well, I don't have anything this will fit. So we'll see. But that's the plan, so let's make it work. I'm using a circular saw for any long straight edges since it gives the straightest cut. I decided to place a sawhorse underneath the edge to catch the piece as the cut finishes. Then we switch to the jigsaw for the tighter sections. All right, that is the first one done. Let's mark and cut the next. Now we're marking out the outside front piece of the console. After a quick zing on the corner, it's all cut out. The next panel we're marking out is the aft end plate. <laughs> Accidental camera effects. Gotta love riding plywood. Try not to hit the table saw underneath with my circular saw so occasionally you guys get a ride. This time we're marking out the left console base and cutting it out with the circular saw. I'm stacking all the pieces against the workbench on the other side of the shop. All right, last piece to do is another end cap. I'm going to mark it out, we're gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna do kind of a dry assembly and we'll get into the real assembly. All right. Here we're marking out the left outer removable panel and giving it a quick cut with circular saw. All right, this one is the front end cap and we've got to pass wires through it, which means I need a hole through it. So we're gonna use something called a hole dozer, which is an interesting name to say the least. I make a little three inch hole in this, or as big as I can. And yeah, so I'm gonna mark out the center line of this and we're gonna cut it out. These things are kind of unique. Basically, you have a drill with some pins and it's threaded on one end, so you essentially just screw it in until the pins line up and Bob's your uncle. That's pretty much all there is to it. And then it's just a standard bit, so it goes in a drill. So I'm gonna assemble this and we're gonna drill it. A quick zing in the hole dozer and now we've got a plug to remove. It's a bit more of a challenge than I expected. Hey, like them apples, that's a nice little hole. Perfect. All right, we are gonna turn this collection of now cut MDF into a mock cockpit. I'm gonna put everything up, make sure it all is roughly the right size, and then we're gonna start connecting it all together. First step is to lay out all the pieces as if it was folded open like a blooming flower. Okay, I have everything, it looks roughly all the right sizes. So I'm going to start cutting some wood blocks because I was originally not thinking of using them. But if I don't use them, 
I'm a little worried about the MDF structural integrity, especially if I pick it up or somebody else does. So we're going to use wood blocks in the corners and potentially some in the middle, and we're going to use those. So in the bottom, I can use two by fours. So we're going to start there. I just cut them pretty short, and essentially I can use off cuts. So that's going to be the starting point. Let's get going. I found a bunch of off cuts that I can make shorter, but essentially they're going to go in the corners like that. So I went ahead, set up a little stop just to cut them all evenly zipped eight of them should be roughly square and we're gonna throw those on there so here goes onto the cockpit all right first what we're gonna set up is the base I'm going to use a piece of temporary or just an alignment piece of MDF just to get my spacing right and we're gonna put in the blocks here we go I'm using the edges of two scraps from the MDF for alignment all right this guy's pretty much aligned I'm gonna slide it off the table we're going to clamp it in place so that I can drill up from the bottom because the plan is to have one go in the end, one go in the middle, and this one up from the bottom. So we're going to start there. I need two screws in there, just pretty short ones. And we're basically going to screw this in permanently because this is not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to pre-drill it and we're going to screw it in. Okay, right, now onto the other side. So I'm match drilling the outer and inner holes with the smaller one in the MDF and the larger hole for the threaded insert that I can then size later. Okay, we've gotten to the point I can put on the back one, so we're going to grab a 5mm drill bit and we're going to do that. I've got the back piece. I'm very centered. I've got the back piece, basically we have to stick it up and then I've got to use some side pieces to align it and then we can drill it. Seems easy enough. Well, the 4K overheated, so I drilled that. We're gonna drill it bigger, put an insert, call it good. All right, drill with seven and a half millimeter. And then insert, threaded insert. Okay, I'm gonna grab an M5, we're gonna attach this and drill the other one. That should do phenomenally. Let's put it on the other side. The other side went the exact same, line everything up, pre-drill, drill everything to size, add insert, and test fit. All right, that is the back panel flush mounted. Let's basically just work our way around. So that I'm gonna pull up the next panel. We're gonna screw it into the side. We're gonna mount our studs in there. We're gonna put it in. And we're gonna put the next block up and we're gonna continue our way around with the cockpit. So I'm gonna move you guys so you can see and I'm gonna rush through it. Well, I'm not gonna rush, but we're gonna work our way through. I started working on the outer removable panel and then decided to do the inner fix panel since it's full length and a bit easier to align the outer corners versus one in the middle. Then we removed all the attach paneling and fixed the front anchor in place for some match drilling. Then after the inner side, we slid around to the front and same process. Once the outer front was in place, it was time to do the two harder panels, which had to meet in the middle and have an anchor on a line instead of a corner. This involves using the corner anchor and attaching the outer removable panel, then match drilling the front outer panel and putting an anchor in the middle where they need. Okay, that is all the base screws. Now I gotta do all the top ones. The tricky bit 
is that I need to put the top plate on in order to get all the alignments and everything else and they have to be one inch wide at most and a two by four is one and three quarters so I'm either gonna have to plane them smaller or do something else. I might have some one inch sticks around but we'll see. It's gonna make it a little more interesting so we're gonna get started on those. And here's a quick orbit of where we're at so far. Quick dance sidetrack. And back to dancing. Okay, back to the front. Starting on the top anchor here, I clamped it in place where I'd like the top corners to meet and match drill the alignment hole, then put it in the insert, attach the anchor to the panel, and then match drill the other face. Then repeat all the way around with all the corners. I basically lined up all the corners of the top plate with the side MDF corners using the inside closest to the pilot and the back or the aft as my reference sides. So those are the critical edges. I drilled two match holes so I could have a solid alignment for the third. Then it was on to the last anchor. This one was free floating and had to be put on with the top plate on to get the correct positioning. Okay, that is the base frame, including the top panel. I gotta put the gear panel on, and honestly, this will be done. Then I can start chucking in panels, wiring them out, and it'll be pretty good. Oh, this is taking a long time, but gear panel. I ended up cutting out the wrong version of the gear panel, so we'll cut through this footage pretty quickly since I'll be covering the updated version in a future video. Thank you all for what you say to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh, I'll take you on like a big deal. Okay, I just moved the stuff I had here out of the way. We're gonna move that over here. Let's get to it. Okay, now that it's up here, I did make one final modification, and that's literally just, I cut out a block of wood, put in some threaded inserts, and made it to the size of this gap. That way I can screw that in, and keeps the Warthog Hotas nice and secure, nice and easy. I've also got plenty of space for the keyboard until, you know, I put in all the other panels, because I can't have those occupy the same place, but that's okay, it should work phenomenal for now and then if I need to this who knows where it's gonna go but we'll find a place. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me make this. This is going to be a phenomenal improvement over what I had previously and a huge platform to build on. If you guys are interested in following along I do release the blueprints over on Patreon. They don't come out in conjunction with the videos because I do finalize them. It does take some work to get them prepped for the release for you guys but I do release them. So if you guys are interested in following along and building your own cockpit, or if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and helping to make all this possible, definitely head over to the Patreon, the link's in the description, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.